Hey everyone, it's Tuesday. Um, on Sunday, I went to the flea market again, and as I tend to do, I found some really incredible records there. So I'll show those today. I have some older record finds that I want to show. So today's just going to be a vinyl update. Got plenty more records to show from the flea market on Sunday, but um, you know I haven't listened to all of them, so I'm not going to show all of them. But anyway, uh, what you're going to be hearing in the background is The Thoughts of Everless Dabshack by The Nice. This looks like it's a 1973 reissue on the Columbia Special Products label, but I only found this for a couple bucks, and uh, this has been on my want list for a while. So very, very cool to get this, and uh, this if you don't know The Nice, this is the group that Keith Emerson was in uh, before ELP. I think this record dropped in 67, 1967, I want to say. But anyway, uh, really cool stuff. Very psychedelic. Got some early prog things going on. So uh, that's what you'll be hearing in the background. Uh, another record that I found at the flea market on Sunday was Jesse Frederick. Didn't know anything about this, but just that cover to me looked really interesting. Um, looked like the music that was inside would be pretty good. And actually it really is. Um, another deciding factor in picking this up was the fact that it is on Bearsville, which is uh, of course a label that all, well, most of Todd Rundgren's stuff was released on. So anyway, uh, just between the cover the label, I figured I'd take a gamble on this for only a dollar or two, and it is really really good. Uh, some of the songs on here are better than others, but definitely a cool little record, and uh, if you happen to run into this in the wild, uh, definitely check it out. It's worth a listen for sure. Uh, another one I found at the flea market really cheap was uh, this copy of Peace of Mind by Iron Maiden. I've had this on CD for ages, love Iron Maiden, uh, one of my favorite bands, and this is a pretty scrappy copy in all honesty, but, you know, I, I just can't pass up Maiden if I see it for only a dollar or two, and uh, I might end up hanging this on the wall or something, but definitely had to pick this up for only a couple bucks, so very cool to find that. I'll save this one for a little bit later, and I will show the, Butterfly Blue, the Butterfield Blues Band in my own dream. Um, First of all, the reason why I picked this up was the cover. Uh, it was released on Elektra. I think this came out in like 69, but I'm not positive. Anyway, I uh, picked this up because it's on Elektra and uh, the cover looks cool. This is actually a pretty, pretty cool little album. Some of the songs are too bluesy for me, but I should have expected that based on the name of the group. But anyway, there are some really cool songs on here. So again, if you see this cheap, definitely pick it up. Now, one more record I found at the flea market before I show my major find at the flea market is Midnight Lightning by Jimi Hendrix. Always cool to add something to the Jimi Hendrix collection. And uh, this is a really cool little record, uh, especially... Like, hearing uh, this rendition of Blue Suede Shoes was pretty interesting. But anyway, very cool album, and uh, always nice to add something to the Hendrix collection. Now, this is the major grail that I found at the flea market. I've been looking for this record for ages, and to be honest, I've never even seen it, you know, let alone be able to afford it, but I've never seen it. Radio Gnome Invisible Part 1, Flying Teapot by Gong. This album is, you know, I've loved this album for ages, but I just have never been able to get my hands on a copy. And I found this first U.S. press for only five bucks at the flea market. Could not believe it. Uh, and, you know, you look at the cover, and it's just trippy-ass stuff, and really that's what you get with this music. It's just, I want to say it's just far out, because that's what this is, uh... You know, some of the songs on here, just Flying Teapot, Zero the Hero and the Witch's Spell, Pothead Pixies, I mean, you know, the names say it all. This is just really bizarre, off-the-wall music that really, you know, it was what that Canterbury scene in the 70s was all about. But anyway, this is on Virgin.
So a anything on Virgin is super cool to get for a good price, and especially Gong. Love Gong, and uh, yeah, I'm still, to be honest, I still can't even believe that I'm holding this in my hands. So really, really awesome to get that. Now I have some older flea market finds that I want to show. Uh, these are ones that I got at a flea market a while ago, but just uh, never got around to showing. So I'll go through these real quick. Uh, the last record album by Little Feet. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is okay. It's nothing spectacular, but there's some good songs on here. Born Again by Black Sabbath. Uh, again, not the best Black Sabbath album by a long shot, but you know, to get this cheap, uh, cool to add to the collection, there are some good songs on here. So very nice to get that. And one more is It's Just a Matter of Time by the Kit Kats. Uh, the cover didn't look like it would be up my alley, but I think this came out at some point in the 60s. So I, I figured, you know, it could be interesting. And there are some, uh, there are a couple detours into like psychedelic pop territory. Excuse me. And uh, those are, that's where the, the music is most interesting, I think. But there are some good vocal harmonies going on here. And, uh, yeah, it's really not a bad record. It, you know, it's just not my taste too much. But if you see this and you're into 60s rock music, definitely something to get. So, uh, Kit Kats. Next record I want to show is um, by a band that I uploaded some live footage of. Ancients with the album Heart of Oak. Saw these guys live in a record store, and they were phenomenal. I talked to them about music and everything, but, um, yeah, their record, it's limited to 100 copies, and it's on clear vinyl. So, um, really, I just couldn't pass this up. It's on Season of Mist, and uh, it just looks absolutely beautiful. But like I said, only 100 copies were pressed, uh, according to the, to the hype sticker here. What's it say? The yeah, exclusive transparent clear colored vinyl limited to 100 units worldwide. So it's like seeing something like that, you know, I really had to bite the bullet on this. And these guys are phenomenal. To me, they sound like if Opeth and Mastodon got together and made an album. Uh, just really incredible stuff. And if you're into progressive extreme metal of any, any sort, this is highly, highly recommended. Okay, I have a couple more records to show, uh, and I'll go through these kind of quick. Bill Bruford's Earthworks. Yeah, uh, Bill Bruford is the man, and this is a really good record. The production at times feels a little bit too rooted in the 80s for my taste, but uh, still, definitely not bad. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Next band is CAC. This is a West Coast psychedelic band from... Uh, I think this album came out in 69. But anyway, really, really cool stuff. And I found out, I did a little bit of research on Discogs and stuff, and I found out that this is, this is a bootleg press. But, uh, you know, still, even the bootleg press is pretty tough to come by. So I'll probably never own an original, but still, this is a really good bootleg, great pressing, and, uh, yeah, really good album, too. So if you see this one... Uh, for a good price. Definitely don't pass this one up. Uh, I'll finish this video off with two prog albums. Uh, the first one is Happy the Man. This is an album that, you know, has become a little bit of a cult classic and it's, you know, it's definitely deserved the attention that it's gotten recently uh, from a lot of progressive rock fans. It's very unique. Um, there's really nothing I can think of that sounds like this, and I'll need to give it more listens to really articulate why. But, um, yeah, this is a special album. If you're into the kind of camel-type stuff, definitely pick this up. One more I have to show is uh, Quiet Zone Pleasure Dome by Vandergraaff. Love Van der Graaff Generator, and this is a UK press on Charisma. So very, very nice to get that. And that's all I'm going to show in today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you have a good week, and I'll see you all next video.